Hey, my Young and the Restless fans, yes, the spoilers are out and we got an action-packed week to talk about. First, we see Jack and Billy team up against Ashley. Ashley and Tucker make a major announcement. Victoria's new relationship is put to the test. And Nicholas looks like he's about to punch a hole into either Cameron's face or the wall. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless, and the bold and the beautiful. This is your spoilers for the young and the restless for the week of June 5th through June 9th. And without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on this week. So let's start out over at Sharon's place where we see both Nikki and Victor get shocking news. And we all know what that's about. The fact that Cameron Kirsten is back and all of the gory details that come along with it. The question is, what is going to happen next? And is there anything Victor can do or will Cameron find a way to slide under the radar? Stay tuned for that on Monday's episode. Also in this same episode, keeping up her vendetta, Ashley gets the upper hand against Diane. However, I think it's going to be a little bit short-lived, which we're going to talk about later in this video. And yeah, they're talking about getting engaged, but look like Diane will get her revenge. So let's talk once again about Cameron because he is closing in on Sharon. What is he going to do? Well, it looks like he's going to actually take a uniform for one of Victor's security men. And to do what? Get on the ranch. So, yeah, they got to be careful. This guy is slick and sly. So the other thing that's going on in this particular episode is what is Kyle going to do? And we see all different angles of gaslighting and manipulation from both Summer and her mom, Phyllis, trying to talk Kyle from blowing the whistle on this whole thing. The question is, what is Kyle going to do? Is he going to rat his mother-in-law out or is he just going to give her a few more moments in time to figure this out? We got to wait and see. So moving on in the Tuesday episode for June 6th, it looks like Victor is going to be giving Adam a warning. Now, it's probably going to be about business because we know that Adam wants to take the new McCall Corporation, turn it into a media business, which is going to be an exact rival in competition to Newman Media. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting battle and it's going to be Newman versus Newman. Newman. So let's talk about another Newman, none other than Victoria Newman and her new boyfriend, Nate. Look like they're going to be turning up the heat this week. And it looked like they're probably going to go on their first official date to the public, announce their new relationship to the public. And I don't know if that's going to sit well with a lot of people, especially Billy, which we'll talk about in a minute. But yeah, they're letting the world know that yes, we are a couple. So let's talk some Abbott's business because we all know Ashley is hell on wheels with this whole coup. So it looks like Jack and Billy is going to conspire against Tucker. Now, stay tuned for something very interesting in Monday's episode because she is just not thinking about this plan to undermine Jack and Diane. She's going to end up putting herself in a very bad position. And I'm telling you, Jack and Billy, yeah, I can see why they want to go up against Tucker. So this is going to get really interesting this week. Now we got to talk about Victor because there's going to be a lot of crazy things happening. It looks like as all hell break loose, Victor is going to do his damnness to do damage control. And it probably have a lot to do with this whole Cameron Kirsten situation. And it possibly also added to that his granddaughter Summer is in the middle of a whole mess with her mom Phyllis. So yeah, he got some damage control to do and hey, it adds to all of the crazy drama that's going on this week speaking of crazy drama things are going to get out of control with this whole confrontation between cameron kirsten and nick and like i said at the beginning of this video look like nick is either about to punch the wall or about to punch him in the face this man is coming for me i can feel it cameron was here he was inside the house you were going to stay away from sharing the face or what? Take your best shot.
I hope he hit that wall instead of his face. Either way, it looked like Cameron is going to use this particular event to set up Nick. And yeah, he's actually going to press battery charges against Nicholas for punching something. It could be a fake situation because from what I'm hearing from the rumor mill, he's going to do a whole situation of bruising up his own face to make it look like Nicholas did something to him. So yeah, and it looks like none other than Chance is going to have to take him in, which of course is not going to make Abby happy. So we got to stay tuned because this is about to get crazy. So now on a lighter note, we see Chelsea making the most of her new lease on life as she collaborates with Daniel. The question is, how long is that going to last, especially with Daniel and the mess that he's in with his mom and his sister? We have to stay tuned. Now, remember I said earlier that Victoria and Nate is going to turn up the heat. Well, somebody else is bringing some heat to Victoria, and that is none other than Billy. And Victoria had to know that she couldn't possibly start a new romance without Billy giving her the third degree. And I'm like, Billy, really? After what you just went through, let her live her life. So even though it kind of looked like earlier in the week, Kyle maybe gave a reprieve and gave Phyllis a little bit of time to figure this out. Well, by Thursday, you can pretty much stick a fork into Summer and Kyle's marriage now that Kyle blows the whistle on Phyllis. So yeah, we don't expect her to get any mercy when it comes to this situation. And hey, uh, are we needing a divorce attorney? Probably so. Still in Thursday's episode, Ashley was on cloud nine after she thought she undermined Jack and Diane on Monday with her announcement. Well, it looks like Ashley is going to have a short-lived happiness when it comes to that because look like Diane is going to actually get revenge against probably Ashley this week and I'm also hearing in the rumor mill that there are some changes that's going to happen in the C-suite over at Jabot. Could that mean that Ashley is out and um, Diane is in a COO? We have to stay tuned. So now later in the week on Friday, amongst all of the noise and nonsense going on over at Jabot, Ashley and Tucker is moving forward with this whole crazy plan. They're even going to continue to share their news of their engagement with the rest of the residents of Genoa City. Okay, I don't think too many people are going to be happy about that, especially Abby. The question is... Is their plan going to work or is this going to blow up in Ashley's face? We have to stay tuned. So it looked like with Kyle blowing the whistle on Thursday's episode, when it comes to Friday's episode, look like Phyllis is going to make another rash decision. Will she turn herself in or is she going to face the wrath of not only Jack and Diane, but maybe somebody else? Who could that be? Maybe Victor. She don't even realize who that is. And more than likely, Christine is gunning for her too. So yeah, this thing is about to get ugly. And finally, part of Friday's episode, Nick is backed into a corner. He's torn between these two ladies, both Sally and Sharon. As we know, Sally is his current girlfriend. Sharon is his ex and his baby mama. But Sharon got all that stuff going on with the new threatened town, Cameron Kirsten. And then at the same time, Sally, who is also pregnant by his brother, Adam, is also having the threat of pre-eclampsia going on as well so the question is what is he going to decide if it was my choice i think he needed to focus on sharon sally has a whole baby with adam let him help her through that i mean you shouldn't have got yourself in the middle of this nine months ago anyway so yeah we got to stay tuned to see what his decision is and stay tuned for everything else going on this week Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless spoilers for the week of June 5th through June 9th, 2023. If you haven't checked out the bold and the beautiful spoilers for this week, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!